welcome to my channel. Today I have a sketch box, acrylic landscape box to open. Um, I'm gonna try to do this fast because I wanna get started on the art. <laughs> First off, we have the, whatever the hell this is, we have this cute sticker, palette, a paint marker, acrylic, we have a cat in the middle of the way, yes, okay, thank you. Acrylograph. I don't know what this is, but it's why it is. It's a little cheat sheet. Acrylograph paint pen. And white. Okay. So white, black. Paintbrush. Another paintbrush. Ooh, this is pretty. Mechanical pencil. Very hefty. Fluid acrylic paints. Oops, let's not do it upside down. There we go. And a gesso board. There are three of them here. And what is this? Oh. It's a brush cleaner. A little kind of lotion looking thing there. Okay. There's our box. Here is a list of all the stuff. I am going to go ahead and start. I'm not going to swatch it out on this because I don't want to. There's only three of them, so I don't want to ruin them. Four, three. Oh. oh, it feels like a pile. With this many colors, I basically just saw what the base color was and a little bit of white added to it. I decided to save my full color experiments for the gesso board itself. Since I'm not drawing directly from a photo reference, um, I want to do a practice sketch first to figure out my composition. So what I'm doing is this is just a sheet of mixed media paper. And then I'm going to use the gesso board and go like this, just so I can figure out what I want to do before I commit it to the gesso board. All right, here's my buff draft, um, which I then copied loosely onto the gesso board. Uh, for this, I'm going to start with the background and then work my way up. This is kind of useful because I can tell, like if I cover up any lines, I can tell up where I kind of want it to go. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Okay. 
right, here is my finished piece. I, I like how it turned out. I finished the last little bit off camera because <clears throat> I just wasn't satisfied with what it looked like. So I just fiddled with this and that and added some black to the bottom. I think it turned out pretty good. And yeah, these things, I don't use acrylics too often, but the fluid acrylics are a lot better than uh, the regular heavy set ones, especially where I live because it, they dry so fast. These, they they lasted a little, long, uh, a little longer, so I was able to play with them. I used the black um, to get some of the grays in here in my palette. I didn't use this very much, just here and there um, at the bottom here. I didn't really use the zinc white, I just stuck with the titanium. I couldn't find a huge difference between the two of them. I don't know why they gave us two whites, whatever. Uh, yeah, this was great for sketching. These were good to use. I wish instead of giving these two, they would have um, one bigger brush and then one little brush because these are a little too close together to get what I wanted done, but made it work, made it work. I am going to try to use this to clean up my brushes. And that's about it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, please like and subscribe. And have a wonderful day. Thank you very much.